We're with Travis Collier. Trav, we just wrapped up another Matt Sim for you guys. How did you find out there today? Yeah, it was uh, a bit a bit better in terms of the, the, the timings and everything. It wasn't so start-stop, which was good, and able to let us play. And um, It was just nice to be able to get a, a longer period of time of match simulation and, and make it feel more like a game pushing it back onto the Saturday instead of a normal training on the Friday. So um, getting a little bit frustrated, obviously playing each other um, all the time, but this is sort of where we're going to go in terms of the next step moving forward. Purple got the win, your team, but fairly even contest throughout. Yeah, absolutely. They started really well. Um, conditions were um, quite nullified, I think, today. It's been pretty windy. Um, and then we were able to just work together. Um, we've been speaking about it. Um, in training, I've been connected as a team, and, and the teams that have probably done better throughout um, our match sims have been the ones that have been really communicating and setting up well together and I think we did that more consistently today as a purple team. White started on a tab in part thanks to David Mundy. He's he doesn't look like he's missed a beat even though he's missed a lot of this preseason. <laughs> yeah, if you if you were just to come down and watch it, it would seem like he's done a whole preseason, but that's just the standard that, that Dave sets for himself and how hard he works. It's um, it's no no nothing special that, to, to sort of suggest that um, he's not going to come in and play and, and you just ex almost expect that from him. Um, and most importantly, it's good to see him fit and healthy and out there as we're getting more guys back. Pebble turned around a four-goal deficit into a three-goal win. What what worked? What what did you guys mix up? To, to make that change? I think uh, going forward we just connected a little bit better. We were sort of turning it over in some spots in the attacking half which um, compromised us early and allowed the Whites to get some goals and just took the most of our opportunities. Um, I think also the efforts of um, Nathan O'Driscoll, Andy Brayshaw, Caleb Strong and Lloyd Meek inside um, definitely helped us and got the ball going forward and, and as, as forwards we were sort of able to play to our structure and, and get on the end of a few. So I think our consistency of that and then our, just our communication, knowing what Whites were doing and some game scenarios being thrown at us, um, we were just able to execute a little bit better. We haven't seen Nathan Driscoll at AFL level yet. What did you make of him today? He's been fantastic. I think his, um, his attitude and his willing to learn and embrace all situations has been brilliant. He's been in through the midfield and on the wing. Um, his intensity with the ball and around the contest is something you can't um, can't question um, and as he gets more experience and exposure he's, he's really going to start to perform so it's been exciting to see and he's just a bit of a sponge willing to learn um, and embrace all feedback that comes his way. And great seeing Heath Chapman looking looking great after missing a lot of last season in his debut year. Most definitely I think it was disappointing for Chappie on, his, on himself um, as opposed to us as a team that he was able to that he missed so much last year um, and to see him confident um, going for his kicks, going for his marking has been fantastic and he's confident in his body and he's, he's a big boy so we um, a lot of uh, competition for spots down there with the keys um, and to have him in there with his enthusiasm and to kick a snag at the end was, um, was ex uh, exceptional. Looked like you had a fair few score involvements, are you pleased with how you linked up with the other forwards? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been, been nice, I think the, the last three or four weeks personally has been a, a little bit of get through, a bit of the match sort of sim stuff, um, feeling out my body at this time of year and um, had a really good connection today, um, particularly with Jolie Weston, we sort of had a focus and we, we partnered up and to see his development um, and for me just to engage with him and to, to uh, for us to, to work together was good and I think as getting Matty Tabernard back in training, Lobby spending more time down there and as a, as a group of forwards, um, that connection piece is sort of going to come. Um, so it was just nice to be involved. You guys have to deal with Jordan Clark, or, or you had to deal with Jordan Clark today on the white team at halfback. What, what did you make of him? He looks like he'll be a handy addition this yeah. year. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's quick um, and he gets in behind you, which is and he's just, it's just a smart football. I think the best part about a lot of our halfbacks, but particularly Clark, is their instinctual nature of the way that they play and the way that they attack the game. Um, Boyd is really driven into them, the defend first mentality, but when there's an opportunity to go and use your legs, um, use your kicking, it's something that is a definite, definite strength of his and he'll complement the rest of our back line really well. So it's, it's pretty exciting to see him uh, get, a, get a full match practice in and to see what he can do against some opposition in, in the next couple of weeks would be great. Any other takeaways from the whole game and how it's fitting in with the preseason? Uh, not a heap. It was good to get a bit more match play in, albeit uh, still a little bit, a little breaks in between, but the numbers obviously Im impedes that. Um, and just, just to, always important to keep an eye on, um, on the opposition coming up and um, knowing that we are improving, but other teams are as well. So um, as the pressure goes up, we need to really focus in on that execution piece um, and communicating and connecting together as a team because it's going to come around really quickly. And we've been fortunate to be able to play so much as an 18 on 18 or whatever numbers we've been able to get. So um, we're lucky, but we've got to execute when the season comes around proper.